we just, uh, just come up with ideas, riffs, vocals sometimes. But mostly it's just riffs to put like a bunch of riffs together and bring it to practice and then everyone kind of arranges it the way uh, we feel it is the best and then we take it to a producer and they change it. <laughs> we're, we're big fans of like uh, of demoing, like doing a lot of demoing and ha doing demoing that we can actually take home that night and listen to because that's that's when we make a lot of our best changes in in uh, developing a song is when we get to sit with it and listen to it and we're not focused on playing it, you know, so we can just sit there with headphones and be like, okay, you know, we, and we each make notes kind of and then the next day when we show up, it's like, all right, who has notes on so-and-so from last night, you know, and then it develops like that. It's funny because we'll have the same things a lot of the time. We'll be like, we got, I'll be like, yeah, we, we should shorten that part and be like, yeah, yeah, I got that too. Like, we got to shorten that. And it's, it's the, interesting the amount of perspective you can have when you're not in the moment of playing it and how much better you can see the song when you're just listening back to it and not in the moment. We started doing the record really kind of drums and bass and then overdubbing and then we were realizing we weren't really getting the grooves that we wanted, that really natural kind of push and pull that you get from playing together and then when we realized we didn't have enough material at the end of the sessions and we had to go do additional songs, that was when we were like, we really need to just play this together, you know, guitar bass drums and get the get that fundamental groove worked in so that and those are the best sounding songs on the record in our opinion and so it's like it was another lesson in like we gotta next time we just gotta we gotta get better before we start tracking and then record it as a group me and brandon were out actually here in new york and uh we were out one night and we went to Brooklyn and drank a lot and then we came back and we had jackets that were kind of like, yeah, he brought the jacket. We, we had jackets that were kind of like this with like different patches on it. And I'm like, well, that'd be all right for a record uh, layout, wouldn't it? So we kind of thought it was a good idea and then told these guys and they were into it too and here we are. We, we would have like, like during the breaks in our rehearsals, we would just Shopping channel. sit there and you know, smoke a joint and be like, all right, what should the patch for this song be? You know, and then we just spitball ideas and Marv's a good drawer, so uh, he would just sketch things up. <laughs> He's a good drawer. Uh, yeah, so it was fun, like, coming up with all the, the patch ideas, too. Like, it was, it's a very, it was very much like, a, like an awesome idea from the band. It was one of the first times ever where like me and uh, me and Harv were asked to stay on to film some extra footage, and these guys, they were like, "Go ahead and uh, sit in the trailer." And it was like right around the time it started snowing, and it was like minus four, and I wasn't wearing much more than this really. And uh, we had to like, he's like, "All right, can we do a couple more takes?" And me and Harv were just like, "We can't, man. I can't like, feel we my need hands. to warm up. Like, we yeah. can't do this." And it was, I was like sitting on a, a, a sweater and gloves and a hat, and in between takes, I would just quickly like put them on and like throw them up and then as soon as they were like, all right, we're gonna role play, I could just rip it off and stick it underneath and it was rough. But I wasn't that smart, I froze. <laughs> but I, I, that being said, I would do it again if to get a, an end product like that. As soon as the snow started, we're like, it's just like, fuck really? But at the same time, this is awesome and we was this you know, we couldn't complain because we knew we were getting the best shots ever for the climax of the video and it couldn't have worked out any better from a timing perspective. So there was just like, we just had to just grit our teeth and bear it. We're obviously got to stick to a couple of the songs that are singles, but like I really am okay with playing any of the record because I'm, ha I'm quite happy with the whole thing. So it's nice to be able to say that and it's nice to be able to think about that when you're doing, a, when you're setting up the live show because it's really just about finding which ones go good in, in which order, because at the end of the day, we want to play the whole record, and uh, I think that's you know kind of a strong thing to be able to to be able to have that feeling. It's a rock and roll show. Yeah. Uh, it's the best way to describe the album. It's the best way to describe the band, and I think it, a lot of bands say that all the time, and they aren't really. It's like it's a more pop or it's more whatever alternative or whatever, and it's so nowadays the genres have been you know, so interchangeable and mixed, and it's been this like ambiguous mix of all these different things. But it's nice 
to be a rock and roll band. It's nice to just be able to say that and, and know that that is all you need. You know, that's all you, I really need to say. And if you don't believe me, then you just listen to it and you're like, oh, they, okay, they are. They're a rock and roll band. So I, that's, all I, that's all I can really say about it. It's pretty high energy. Um, there's not a lot of uh, glitz and glamour and pyro and things like that. It's, it's oh, the, yeah. the, the big no. The big thing right now, <laughs> seeing that's like, that people always comment on, is that they they love how much uh, fun it looks like we're having. You know, and we I think it's because we gen like we genuinely are having a great time playing, and that really comes off the stage to people. Hey, this is Monster Truck, and we want you to subscribe to Louder Noise, the, the loudest, loudest noise, noise on, on Earth. Earth.